welcome uh, to this training video in this video i will keep an overview on artisan command line tool so it comes with it comes with laravel and it's a command line tool to for rapid development of laravel application so some artisan commands will be shown and probably how to generate create new commands that will also be shown anyway uh, this is said so the topics that will uh, be covered in this training video introduction to artisan cli and uges i think the basic commands basic artisan related commands and also one thing to notice that uh, when you install new package in laravel it may come up with uh, new artisan commands we'll be exploring a package laravel food generator that also comes with uh, many artisan commands and that will uh, facilitate the rapid application development how to develop we also will discuss how to develop new artisan commands how to write and how to go for it anyway so actually should we use artisan commands or all the artisan commands that come with different packages and we as we are discussing laravel for generators should you use them all the time in general and for the most part yes it is better to use it will make your development faster and if you want a well packaged software well packaged development in that case probably you can uh, use different aspects especially for laravel for generator that can make your package more complete but you may also justify the need business need technical need and because you can generate some stuff it is a uh, laravel for generator php comma artisan command or the default ones to automate the development and to automate uh, different scripts automatically create different script you have to see if the time and need business need cost budget everything fits into together or not and what is the immediate need so but in general yes using it and automating the process it will help and it will uh, reduce many of the development or many writing code it will reduce that part just use it if it benefits you and if it benefits you to write the code that you really need otherwise depend justify yourself it just uh, my two cents and it just for food for thought i am not recommending anything but for the most part it's better to use anyway what is artisan it's a command line interface command line tool for developing uh, for making the laravel development faster it comes with laravel so if you install laravel successfully with the prerequisite tools and the the basic required tools you will get the artisan as well it provides some helpful commands and that facilitates rapid application development and it is also driven by the powerful symphony console component development <coughs> and actually symphony it is a similar php framework laravel like php framework actually laravel is based on symphony or it uses many symphony components symphony also has a console um, command line interface to for rapid development and laravel is laravel artisan is also driven by that but artisan yeah it's useful but it's not too difficult you can learn it easily so relax so laravel uses it is just the basic laravel command what it can do php artisan list it will show you all the different stuff that artisan can do for you artisan cli can do for the php artisan list it will show all available commands it is just to get uh, help for a particular um, particular artisan command php artisan help migrate help screen for the command migrate php artisan migrate okay it is just telling that uh, if you want help on migrate command it will give you that thing and this will run the migrate command but 
for the environment local it's not a development environment it's not a debugging environment this command will be run on the local environment php artisan version just to check the version of the artisan that you are using so this is a third party package laravel for generator it comes with many artisan commands and it's a very useful package if you want to develop a laravel application it will really help you so it can automate uh, creating your code in many cases and it can definitely help you create the structure basic structure for your uh, for your project and basic structure for all the different modules or components that you want to write it will help you to create the create it and it, it will also help you to create the migrations for for your project very easily if you want to use it for the most part yeah i think it pro it probably is better if you have the time and cost time and budget for it yeah probably using migration is also a, a good idea it it can help to move your project from one server to another server or to test it out so these are the commands that comes with this laravel for generator and it can facilitate your development process so what is the generate model actually you can write php artisan generate colon model php artisan generate controller php artisan generate seed php artisan generate resource so this is the way this command will work so this model will create a model for you this will create a controller for you this will create some seed structure for the models it will create the laravel views for you and this will create the migrations for you and php artisan generate resource this will create the some resources like controller and the model and the migrations and the seeds it will create all of them so it doesn't hurt to take check it out so before showing the details of the laravel for generator commands i can take you if you want to develop your own command then what can you do so new artisan commands actually you have to write some class and you have to uh, you have to write some class and in, in those classes you have to have some specific method named fired that is the command action and you have to put your command in these classes in a particular folder you can change this customize it but uh, yeah so by default the commands that will be stored in the app commands folder under laravel app commands folder where all those uh, artisan commands will be there but if you want to customize or place your command file in separate positions uh, you can also do that but you have to remember that the default position has to be accessible the autolet has to be able to load and it has to be allowed by the composer.json settings the settings has to be appropriate and autolet has to load it appropriately then you can place it somewhere else so to develop new artisan commands you have to write some classes an artisan can also help with the process so if you execute the command php artisan command colon make foo command so it will be creating a foo command class that will be used for foo command to generate a command like foo command so and it will be uh, created under the app commands folder but if you want to uh, define a separate folder you can use it here path app classes and you can also specify the app namespace so that class will be using that namespace now this creates the class but uh, the user may prefer a little bit different syntax to be consistent with others as we saw that a php artisan generate model or generate colon controller generate colon migration so i think this colon syntax with two words on the other, both side this is the general syntax so you can also uh, mention that when you're creating that class so that the user can use similar syntax so you can say php artisan command make assign user so this is the class that will be generated but 
the command that user will execute is user colon assign so this is what user will run in the command line interface to execute this command <coughs> and if you want to generate a command for a particular package you can also use this syntax use this syntax so what will be inside that class what you have to change there are two properties a name and description that you have to fill up it will become in the list the fire method it will be triggered when someone runs the runs your command custom command so you have to define the actions inside this fire method you can use get arguments and get options inside the class to get the user supplied arguments and options so you can see page parties and phone this is the way user can supply options to your command if you want to access individual stuffs you can use this like this and from your command if you want to make use of another command you can use this syntax to execute the other command and make it as part of your own command so if you want to inform the user stuff at the end of the command execution or in between you can use this info this error and this type of thing and if you need more information from the user while progressing or processing or executing the command or, or the stuff that you are trying to do so you can ask using this dollar this ask dollar this secret confirm yes or no so this is what it is so after you are you have done writing your class and define the fire method and all those things you have to register your command by default it is done using the app start artisan.php file you can use artisan double colon add to register the method it just is used in a different scenario so these are the stuff so this and this is you can find all this information here so this will give you the initial artisan commands like php artisan help migrate php artisan version php artisan list the basic stuff here and these are we saw that uh, the php artisan generate colon model php artisan generate colon resource this is coming from here and this is a tool that is based on this that is for this so i think this this you can just issue the code it is it has a graphical interface from where you can issue those uh, laravel for generator commands but you should really master this uh, commands first the syntax and then you can use this thing so we saw these are the different artisan commands for laravel for generator package so you can see this will create the migration actually this create is a hint this table that is another hint actually the actual database table will be posts so this will create a migration for this table add is also a hint here creating migration using fields without fields migration what it is migration is just a schema I think it is a um, I think there is, it is some code PHP code that will help you to create the schema to create the corresponding table just by running that thing the model creating view creation seed blocks it will create the seed structure where you can just go to the file and add some data into there and that will be used as the dummy data resource resource actually creates controllers models and views migrations seeds at one command it can create all those so 
so let's see what is this tools about so looks like there is an interface you can just select and but you have to see for which editor it is a uh, for which editor it can be used as a plugin probably if you watch this video you will know it it can be as part of the PHP storm or something anyway take a look on this and this is the package that we showed so far so these are the generate commands okay let's see how we can automate these things php artisan generate a migration create post stable so what it creates is some this basic structure id the basic field time stamps it's just basic laravel thing created or updated at laravel by default expects them you can turn them false but anyway so this command will be creating this basic structure migration structure for your database tables so these are the different hints that we can use that was used here add user to post table so this is a hint for this these are the hints so you can use the migration using different fields so all the fields are being created here so if you create those migrations then php artisan migration or php migration php artisan migration install that will help to install a package in a new place and to specify the fields that you can see name and data type name data type name data type and you can see integer date and also the properties unique and default unique nullable so you can specify fields when creating the migrations in many different ways you can destroy the table like this destroy posts table So this is created, this will be creating the model post for you. And seeding. Okay, one more thing, I think it is something important. PHP artisan generate form you may want to create forms like this so if you put HTML deep then it is being surrounded by deep by default it will be surrounded by UL unordered list if you want to create test files for testing your models or codes somehow okay so I wanted to show the seed okay I don't see it probably it is there I am missing so that's all about PHP artisan commands anyway have fun have a good day